for day two of shared reading, we are going to reread our book, Pop, Pop, Boom. Yesterday, when we read this book, we used what we know about words to help us solve tricky words. Today, we're going to see words that are highlighted. We're going to cross-check those words when I read them. We will ask ourselves, did the word I read look right, sound right, and make sense? Let's really pay close attention to our endings. Here we go. Read along with me. Pop, pop, boom. Pop, pop, boom. I'm popping popcorn. It's just for me. It popped a big. Watch. You'll see. Let's check that highlighted word. I read popped. Let's look at our ending. If this were the word popped, I would see an ed ending, but it's an s. Let's try it again. It pops up big. It's always important to read your word all the way through to the end. Peg wants popcorn. I'll cook for two. One more cupful, and that should do. One plus one equals two. Popping popcorn is so much fun. Poppity pop pop, yum. Peg brought Pete. Let's go back and check that highlighted word. I read Peg brought Pete. But if this were the word brought, then I would see a T at the end. Peg brings, brings Pete. That looks right, doesn't it? Having that I-N-G ending. Peg brings Pete. And it makes sense. Now that makes three. I wish we had a popcorn tree. Two plus one equals three. Paco likes popcorn. That makes four. I'll put in just one cupful more. Three plus one equals four. Popping popcorn sounds like a drum. Poppity pop pop. Yum. Penny joined the party. Hmm. This is a highlighted word, so we need to double check it. I read Penny joined the party. It makes sense to say Penny joined the party, but if I read my word all the way through to the end, I see an S, not an ED. Penny joins the party. That makes five. Who will be the next to arrive? If now friends come, uh-oh, I said now, and I knew that didn't sound right. It looks sort of right, but that's a different vowel. If new friends come, we'll need some more. I'll add more popcorn, just to be sure. The pot begins to jiggle. It's almost out of room. Poppity, pop, pop, boom. Okay, boys and girls, I want you to think, what are some of the problems that the narrator, the girl who was making the popcorn, had in this story? There were several problems in the story. Think about one of those problems.